is going on guys cubby hole productions and the crypto monkey in the house once again with your market today guys a lot has been going on in the market over the past week and we are going to take a look at that if you have joined the discord you have been seeing my technical analysis and my news and everything i've been posting there so you've been up to date but if you have not joined the discord then you do not have that information so guys make sure you have joined the discord click the links down below join the zoo and come learn there's a lot of educational tools and there's a lot of good conversations i will be posting a lot on there i do um all my technical analysis i post on there daily and uh, multiple coins and i give trade alerts bold predictions um, it goes on and on visual aids guys check it out it is a great tool uh, great community why not join it's free information free knowledge so guys the links down below the discord so without wasting any more time we will check out what's going on in the market and we will give away some free ethereum so guys make sure you are subscribed in order to win your free ethereum make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment with your ethereum address in the links down below before we do dive in guys i gotta give a shout out to the mod cabin check out the mod for all your men's grooming supplies guys it is all natural all vegan all organic greatest scents you can ever ever smell greatest product Products. Guys, I stand by them firmly. Check them out at themodcabin.com. Their products are right over my left shoulder right here. So there they are. Check them out. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, guys, looking at the current coin market cap, we are sitting at 334.9 billion with a 24 hour volume of 21 billion and Bitcoin dominance is at 38.4%. As we have fallen about $60 billion in the last three days in the market. So what this tells me is there are going to be a lot of buying opportunities presenting themselves in the near future. But does that mean we should buy right now? Yes, you should probably start placing buy-ins right now. Do not put all your money in right now because I expect further decline. We will dive into a technical analysis to show you what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, so that's the market cap right now. We are in some serious decline right now. And it looks like we're trying to uh, make some momentum in the up direction right now, but uh, I don't believe that's gonna stick. So I don't believe there's enough volume coming into the market. There's not enough uh, institutional investors ready to empty their pockets. So basically investors are sitting on the sideline waiting to dump all their money in because what we have in the market guys is makes up a very small amount. And I'm talking about you and me and all of us on YouTube and, and this social media stuff. Uh, we make up a very small amount. The institutional investors are what is going to drive this market. And yes, the market is being manipulated by these whales, but these institutional investors are going to be the key to our success. So that's what we are waiting on. And what are they waiting on? They are waiting on regulations on this um, cryptocurrency. The uncertainty of regulations is keeping these investors at bay. And that's really the only thing that's keeping this market at a standstill and sitting idle. So let's dive in, see some buying opportunities. We're going to look at some coins, guys, because there are a lot of coins that are offering great gains. So, so yeah, let's uh, check out today's top performers and then we'll dive into the technical analysis. All right, guys, looking at the top 10 coins, we have the usual, except Tron has made its way all the way up to number nine and looks to be surging and still not giving up though the market falls tron continues to rise huge tron fan i'm bullish on tron and i believe tron is going to do great things when bitcoin goes down tron's still going up when bitcoin goes up tron goes up that's a win-win situation guys all right let's look at today's top performers today's top performer is oxzrx 36.29 percent it just went on a tear yesterday. It went on a huge tear. I believe it uh, was up like 80% or something yesterday. Bitcoin private is 23.6%. Basic attention is 11.46. EOS is 11%. And Enigma is up there, 10.95. And Mixin is up there at 10%. Lots of double digits. And we are having more and more green 
uh, coins as the uh, market is adapting to these new and lower Bitcoin prices. So we'll look at the next 200 to see the top performers and the top performer here is True Chain at 19.61%, Cyperium at 15.97, Civic at 15.08. And to be completely honest, guys, I have not done any research on those three coins. So I don't know what those coins do, but they're doing really well right now. Uh, Matrix AI Network, uh is up 13.76 quant stamp is up again 13.5 so yeah there seems to be uh quite a bit of alts making the adjustment to the bitcoin price so guys let's look at some technical analysis so we can see what is about to come down the pipeline what we're facing i'll show you bullish scenarios and bearish scenarios and then i'll give away some free ethereum and then we'll look at uh some coins you must own and if you're part of the discord i'm on there uh giving shout outs to the coins that i'm investing in and the coins that uh have 10x 15x opportunities have very strong projects strong teams and that you should be a part of in my opinion so guys make sure you are joining the discord but for now let's dive into the technical analysis sector and see what we have going on there all right guys looking at bitcoin this is bitcoin on the daily chart uh, as you can see i have a buy zone right here and my previous technical analysis i had two buy zones one was right here where the where we consolidated which uh, i placed i placed a buy-in because what you want to do guys is dollar cost average your buys in you don't want to just go all in at one level that way uh you're eliminating risk because if you just go in all in let's say you buy all in right now at 7400 well it's harder to manage your uh money that way because you're working with one number but if you buy at say you bought at 7800 and then you bought at 7400 right now and then we reach these zones and then you start buying at 72 71 and then guess what even if we bottom out and come through this which is almost a descending triangle we'll get into that in just a second even if we come down here all the way to 5,000, guys, that's why you got to allocate your capital properly. You have to dollar cost average your way into these positions and out of the positions. That is what I mean by dollar cost averaging your way in. So I would do like a 10% buy-in like I did up here, about 10%. I'm going to do another 10% buy-in uh, here shortly, actually. We have a doji candle forming right now. So um, we'll see what's going to happen. But yes, I'm going to place another buy-in here in the next uh, probably 30 minutes or so. Uh, just another 10%. And guys, like I said, I'm going to play that on its way down because I expect Bitcoin to come down. As you can see, we have this, uh, I guess you could call it a descending triangle or you could call it uh, a symmetric triangle. Optimistic view, it is a symmetric triangle in my opinion. I have many people saying it's a descending triangle, which means if we break out of that, we will be aiming lower uh, to lower levels uh, around $5,000 Bitcoin, which I don't even want to talk about because that is unfathomable. So what I like to do is keep an optimistic outlook. And like I said, I'm going to show you a bullish view and a bearish view. The optimistic outlook is that this is a symmetric wedge that has formed. And guys, what I see here is a... Uh, opportunity for a triple bottom to happen in my opinion uh, right here let me move that line so we came down and touched it with the wick right there and guys if we can come down and touch which would line up perfectly with this support line from this triangle this would be a triple bottom in my opinion which usually indicates a strong reversal is in store so in my opinion, this is what I'm really expecting, and this isn't really having a bearish or bullish uh, outlook. This is just kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting us to come down and hit this $6,800 zone, and then us to bounce off of this and break out in a positive manner. Though some people, actually lots of te technical analysts are saying that uh, this is a descending triangle that has formed and we are going to break out down to the 5000 and then if that goes wrong to the 4600 level i just can't possibly see that happening so right now this is the bullish view and i will even um write on it this is the bullish view background oh sorry 
So, in my eyes, I would place buy-ins starting at $7,400 on Bitcoin down to $6,800. But I would not allocate all my capital right here. Remember, guys, this is just going to be another 10%. So, if it starts going back up, then guess what? I will probably place another 10% right here at the $7,800. But if it goes down, then I'll be able to place 10% more and more down here and lower my total average cost of Bitcoin. So this is how you eliminate risk. So what I'm looking at right now on Bitcoin guys is this doji stick that we have formed. Let's look at the four hour. So guys on the four hour, as you can see right here, we do have this tweezer that has uh, formed this tweezer pattern. What this usually indicates is a reversal only when it's on the apex of a trend. So when it's on the pivot of a trend, then it counts as a reliable indicator that we have a reversal pattern. So whether it's going to skyrocket or just do a quick uh uptick and then come further back down we will see but in my opinion guys i do see us just going up probably doing something like uh something like this going up and i'm gonna make this line and we'll probably bounce around come down here bounce off uh that line needs to be white so that you guys can see it so i expect something like that to occur Again, that's just my opinion, so we will see what happens. As you can see, the RSI was extremely oversold and is struggling to break back above the 30 level, so it is still very bearish right now. MACD is way down, and the sellers could be running out of strength, but we could also um, just keep this pattern continuing as we are still trending downwards on both charts. Guys, there is a lot of sell volume that did occur right here, right here. So it looks like the sellers are winning. The bears are winning. The bulls tried to fight back. And that is this reversal that we're seeing. But with this low volume, I just can't see this reversal being too strong, which is why I say it's just going to be a small uptick. Maybe not even an uptick, guys. We may just do like a consolidation sideways and then fall. Or maybe we uh, consolidation sideways and then up. But um sorry i keep rubbing my eyes i have a um, really bad headache right now but that's just what i see why does it keep drawing i don't want to draw any more right now so guys yeah that's the bullish view in my opinion and if you want to look at it on the daily let's go back to the daily and try to uh see something else that may be happening guys again this is my bullish view so what could happen right now we could just go straight up from here we could go right up from 7500 and just continue going up but in all reality i do not see that happening and I'm, that's still my bullish view so buy zone is 6800 to 7400 and make sure you are dollar cost averaging your way in so now the bearish view in my opinion we would basically get rid of this and we would take this and say okay we have a descending triangle that has formed and we are going to break out down so guys if we do come down to this apex and hit the $65,000 mark then um, the descending triangle will indicate we are going to fall further. And again, guys, this would be the bearish view, in my opinion. And if you could tell, I am saying in my opinion a lot because y'all need to know that this is all opinion. Everyone that does a technical analysis is all opinions, guys. Okay, so if we do hit this and we break out down, then we have support. We have support down here around uh, $5,800, and I will draw these lines out for you real quick. Around 58, I mean, in this whole zone right here, and these are kind of rough, but uh, fairly accurate as well. $5,800, uh, we'll say, and then we have another support after that, which I believe will be the uh, $5,000 mark. So... I believe if we hit this descending triangle and if we break out downward and 
if the 65 doesn't hold and if the 5800 doesn't hold, then we will hit $5,000 Bitcoin. And if the $5,000 Bitcoin doesn't hold, then we will be falling lower to somewhere around, and I don't even want to talk about it, but it's going to be somewhere around $4,600. And that is not something we would like to think about right now. Maybe $4,500. Guys, that is a pretty low price on Bitcoin. With the technology and with the regulations that we are trying to have implemented, the SEC is looking at everything. Uh, investors are literally just on the sideline waiting to dive in. I cannot imagine us being in a bearish market for much longer, guys. The, the technology is now global. We, uh, it has global recognition. It's not going anywhere. Your government can say no, but it doesn't mean that the crypto is just going to go away. It's here to stay, guys. This is, guys, this is the new uh, revolution. I mean, this is the revolution. This is the new technology. This is the new uh, way of life, so to speak. So, um, I just can't imagine it going down to these levels. And if it does, then hopefully you've been dollar cost averaging your way in and you get in some awesome positions and it brings your average down. And then you may have Bitcoin at around six grand at, at the grand scheme of things. So it's a win win no matter how you look at it. Just know that we are not going to go to zero. It's not going to happen. And guys, if you're holding, hodling, just stay strong no matter what. If we hit 15 cents on Bitcoin, as crazy as it freaking sounds, do not sell. You are going to take a huge loss. And then Bitcoin's going to have a huge bounce back. And you're going to be like, shit, what, what did I do? What, did I, what was I thinking? I freaked out. And that is beginner's panic. Do not do that, guys. That is for the holders out there. For the traders out there... I would wait to buy in around 6800 and make sure that it has a solid bounce. Make sure you set your stop loss right under 6800 I would actually do around 6600 actually give it a little bit of risk. And uh, I would expect it to bounce off the 68 and have a pretty good return. And we can actually do that right now if you wanted to. So if you bought in at $6,800 as a trader you would be and we set the risk at what did i say 6600 around 64 6500 which is a 5.14% risk to a reward of i would say to the $10,000 level almost is where we would be headed but that is a huge profit opportunity. But if you want to be conservative, we could take it again, guys. This is all personal preference on how risky you are feeling. So I'm going to bring it down and we'll say uh, we'll come and test these resistance around 8300. And even if that's all we test, guys, that's a huge profit. Even if we only come back and test this 7500, you're still making over 10 percent profit. And guys, that would that's how I do it if I were trading uh, I would believe we would probably hit that 75, do some consolidating, and maybe uh, continue our advancement upwards. Again, bearish view, we're going to go down to all these levels, and I don't even want to think about it. It makes me sick thinking about it. I, I don't want to wait that long. Nobody wants to wait this long, but guys, just hold it out. We are going to go to the moon eventually, even if we have to take stairs. We're going to get there, you know? There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be a lot of up and down movement. This is all healthy for the market, and it's all part of the market. It's all part, especially a new market. Uh, cryptocurrency being so new and just now gaining all this global recognition is really turning a lot of people's heads, and it's really making the SEC and governments actually have to adopt it. It's all they, they can say no as much as they want but there comes a certain point when it is going to have to be adopted as everyone is using it right so keep on and keep doing your things so now guys excellent excellent buying opportunities that i would like to present to you in the alt world and these are some of the coins that are straight off of my portfolio and i'm just going to give them right over to you again uh, Cardano guys wow it is at 20 cents so if you buy this right now I believe you will have 
a 10x gain this year off of Cardano. I believe... Oh, sorry, guys. I believe the top 10 coins are going to explode, like, beyond belief uh, by the end of this year. So Cardano is in the top 10, and it's only going for 20 cents. I believe its all-time high was up here around a dollar... What is this? Way up here. A dollar 40 or something. So do the math, guys. That's 7x gain conservative in my opinion i expect it to reach new highs which i expect 10x gains on cardano another coin that i suggest everyone picking up apparently bitcoin cash is a, a coin that you need to own i've been reading a lot and it's a must own coin apparently so i i'm not a big investor on bitcoin cash but it did go under a thousand dollars and when it did that I bought some Bitcoin cash and I'm just going to cold store it and literally set it and forget it. I'm never going to use it. And, you know, it's just I, and that's how I'm doing my um, my portfolio moving forward. I'm just setting up my portfolio now so that I'm prepared for the explosion. I don't want to just be doing these little trades and trying to take uh, little profits here and there and traders would say you're missing out on so much money and that's ridiculous but obviously holders and traders have way have two different completely different mindsets so uh, that's something you need to take into consideration you need to understand and and know yourself and know if you are a trader or if you are a holder it's kind of hard to be both I was both for I was both for a while but um, it was it was too much and it, it becomes tugging at your heart almost because you're selling these coins that you know one day are going to just explode. And it, it, it got to the point where I said, all right, I'm I'm just setting and forgetting um, and I'm building my portfolio on coins that I expect to just re give me the highest rate of return as all of us are. I've been doing a lot of research, and uh, these are just some of the coins that I've come up with and that I want to talk about. So that is what I'm doing. Binance Coin, guys, is a coin that everyone needs to own, at least some of. It is an intrinsically valued coin. It is the Walmart of the cryptocurrency, so to speak. It is a coin that has value, and it is very undervalued, in my opinion, and will be going up tremendously over the years especially and plus you get 50 percent discount on binance if you're trading with binance coin so uh i would highly suggest picking up bnb it is going for 12.74 you will probably be able to get it for under 12 bucks if we take another dip and if we don't then uh start your average cost buy-ins guys again make sure your average cost average costing your way into these positions and then uh, you will minimize all this risk. You're not in one position and like crap. I bought BNB at 1274 and now it's 11 bucks or now it's 10 bucks. You know, it's 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 the most um, it makes the most sense to dollar cost average your way in. So EOS guys, make sure you own EOS. Obviously, this is a coin that is not going anywhere either. Let me get these lines so that you can see them. I had a triangle, which is still in play, actually. All right. So it looks like we came and bounced right off of that. So we'll see what is going to happen and if this validates this uh, bottom support as a triangle or if we are going to continue this channel downward. Either way, it's a channel downwards and downward channels result in upward breakouts. Right now we are at the 618 fibonacci level and let me redo that because i have new levels set all right so as you can see we did come and reach this cold this golden pocket right here in between the 618 and the 0.65 and we bounced off of that so like i said guys the whole market could be doing this the whole market could just be going up from here who knows but i just find that hard to believe man i just find that hard to believe there's so little volume anyway uh, so EOS guys make sure you're owning it. It's almost 12 bucks right now. That's not a bad buy I think I said last video I, I was buying it at five dollars eight dollars twelve dollars fourteen dollars So 
EOS, I would, you know, get some shares now and if see if we fall. And if we fall, get some more shares. And if we continue going up, get some more shares. Guys, these coins are all very undervalued right now as the market is just in a huge slump. We are really sitting idle and um, these coins are on huge discounts. So take advantage of them, please. Fun Fair is going for 0.34 cents. So I see this coming down and about to do some a reversal. It's probably a trade alert, actually. I would invest in Fun as it has support coming up and it looks like it bounced off of this other support fun is a great project it's the gambling token uh, most of y'all know what fun fair is it's very cheap right now on a huge discount and it i believe it was 25 cents at its high well that wasn't even its high so yeah, this is a huge opportunity. 10x gain almost, guys. Uh, and guys, with all these alts, I expect new highs that I'm showing you. The alts that I'm showing you, I expect new highs to be hit. So yeah, that's a 10xer. Genesis Vision is on sale, might I say. $14.27. Yes, please. Uh, so I was buying Genesis Vision when it was $19, $20, and now it's $14. So obviously I'm buying now when it's $14 as well. And it's bringing my average down. So make sure you own some Genesis Vision, guys. Again, this I'm not a financial advisor. Do not take my advice as your opinions. But I highly believe you need to own Genesis Vision as it is going to be reaching $54, $55 minimum. And this is a project that is just now being recognized. So I expect this project to reach new highs and probably hit somewhere closer to uh, around $100 this year. So Genesis Vision is one uh, I'm invested in. And INS, guys, if you are not invested in INS, you are missing out. That's all I can say. These are, uh, this is to the dollar, great. So it doesn't go back very far i'm sure i could get it on bitrix this is binance but uh ins ecosystems is over ten dollars right now it's going for a dollar and ten cents a dollar and eleven cents uh i've been average cost cost uh average costing my way into this position as well i've been i bought some at a dollar uh twenty some at a dollar five something you know just buying all over the map but ins i know is going to reach the same highs that it did uh in its past and it's also going to set new highs guys it's a great project i'm not just saying that because it has these highs i'm saying it because these projects are projects with great teams great followings and um are very promising so ins ecosystems is probably one that i am most bullish on right now and in my opinion, even though it's ranked, I think, like 280 something on the market cap. But those are the coins that, you know, you can find those lucky eggs in. And you can, it's, this isn't luck, though. This isn't <laughs> luck. Those are the coins you can find lots of uh, 10x, 15x value in. Um, a coin right now, oh, in cash is on sale. It's going on actually going on a run. It was two cents earlier, and it's probably going for about uh two and a half cents right now, three cents almost. So in cash is one that I obviously I'm a firm believer in. I think it's a long-term hold, uh, but I believe in cash will be hitting, you know, $25 in four or five years from now and fifty dollars down the road and cash is a huge project which has a huge vision uh nucleus vision that no pun intended but they do have a uh huge vision and if they team up once they pair with the right people and get in with this home security and i think they should partner with this uh, new amazon deal this facial recognition that they're trying to do actually amazon is global facial recognition to where it recognizes your face and nucleus vision is working with these uh components that do that so i think they should team up and if anyone agrees with me please leave a comment and please share this because we need to get the word out that nucleus vision can help the missing link in this amazon case that they are um working with the government or the fbi or something to uh investigate 
to investigate people so they can do facial recognition. That's just a huge opportunity, in my opinion, for Nucleus Vision to explode. But yes, in cash is undervalued right now, and it is going to be a great, great long-term hold. Ontology, I'm bullish on. I'm ju I just now started investing in Ontology, to be honest with you, so I'm getting it around $6 seven dollars so i'm still working on my portfolio with ontology I, it's gonna it's uh gonna have a great year supposedly so that's that's you check out the roadmap and and it has a lot of things coming down the pipeline another one oh guys substratum and again if you're on my discord i talk about these coins in my discord and i say they are on sale and i say the price you should need to go I don't say you need to go buy them, but I say look into it because I'm not going to tell you to buy stuff, but you probably should. Um, Substratum is 42 cents right now. It was 40 cents earlier, so you can buy some right now. Guys, Substratum is another one of those projects. It's a, it's a huge project. I'm not even on Substratum. Let's click it. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So... Like I said, guys, I'm expecting Substratum to come up here and reach these previous highs at three and a half bucks almost. And we are at 42 cents and not only reach those highs, but set new highs. But that's what we're looking for, our new highs, promising projects and uh, great investments that are going to have the highest rate of capital. So, or highest rate of return on investment. So I am going to highly suggest Substratum for you guys because Substratum has a lot coming down the uh, roadmap. Times New Bank is about an 8Xer if y'all want to do that. Um, I believe, let's see, it's high on Binance. Oh, this is Bitfinex. It's high on Bitfinex, 36 cents, and it's going for 4 cents right now. So there you go, 8, 16, 24, 32, about 8x. So I literally just counted that out, so out loud. Yes, I'm aware. Um, Tron, obviously, everyone and their mom should own Tron. Uh, it's going for seven cents, and it seems to go up when Bitcoin goes down. And when Bitcoin goes down, it may go down a little bit, but then it somehow catches back up. So Tron seems to be pushing forward no matter what is happening. So I believe uh, Tron obviously is a great, great long-term investment, and they are making some major moves to become the top five coin. So I obviously am heavily invested in Tron. Seven cents is still a great buy, so I would hop on Tron, no doubt. VeChain I'm building in my portfolio right now. Chain I'm building in my portfolio right now. Stellar, I just started continuing to add. I kind of got phased out of Stellar and was thinking, okay, this is not really a great project, great coin. I honestly didn't know a whole bunch about it. And then I did a whole bunch of research and realized, all right, I'm going to hold this coin probably until it goes away. <laughs> not really, but I'm going to hold it for, for a long, long time. So I just held, held, it's on the top 10, guys. If coin's on the top 10, there's a good chance you should probably own some of those coins. So uh, Stellar's one I continued to start adding to my portfolio uh, recently with these prices. These prices are all huge discount prices, guys. You really cannot go wrong. Ripple is another one. That is probably uh, one I am, this is probably my top three is Ripple, uh, INS, and Substratum right now. Those, those are my three bullies right now. I believe Ripple is going to just, you know, it's going to go hit $5 this year. And in my opinion, if it only hits, you know, it's $3 or whatever its previous highs was, $3.30, so be it. Ripple's the first uh, technology that's really being accepted um, in the United States. It's really being accepted globally. It's already being implemented, and their blockchain and um, their technology is being used. So I believe Ripple is here to stay. It's going to be one of those coins that is kind of the first one adopted uh, and accepted by the SEC and is going to have a huge run. So that's just my opinion. It's at 61 cents again, guys. And Ripple, you can literally just wait, and it's going to go up to $3.31 at the very minimum. I think we're going to hit new highs around $5 this year. And in the long run, Ripple's just going to go through the roof. So that is that. And any other coins? Let me actually check the Discord, guys.
So I know Ken Token was one that I was kind of bullish on. Uh, DCN Dentacoin. These are all these. Those are two 10x opportunities right there. Ken Coin and um, whatever I just said. The uh, I'm like I, I'm I'm drawing a blank. I don't even know what I just said. The Ken Coin. Oh, Dentacoin. DCN. Uh, OCN is on discount right now. Get a bunch of that. That's a uh, Justin Sun project. It's Odyssey Coin. Oh. I would add this to my top three, top four, whatever, top five. KuCoin shares, guys. If you do not have KuCoin shares, it is right up there with Binance, right? So we got Binance and then KuCoin. That aren't those like the two top exchanges? So if Binance is the Walmart of the crypto industry, then KuCoin is the target of the crypto industry. It is the next in line, so to speak, the next biggest. So yeah, KuCoin's going for like three to four bucks, three and a half bucks, something like that right now. But it's going to 10x. It's going to reach its its high and set new all time highs, in my opinion. So, and they are actually making a lot of moves over at KuCoin. If you check out check them out, go. Um, check out KuCoin's website. They're trying to get these referral programs and stepping up their security and <clears throat> really trying to make their uh, exchange seamless, so to speak, and run a lot more smoothly. And uh, they've done just that. So applaud KuCoin, and I believe y'all should own KuCoin. So here we are. This is me talking about coins that we need to own or just talking about coins. This DentaCoin. Mithril is another coin that I am building in my portfolio. Um, you know, I should probably just create a category, coins to own, so I don't have to scroll. Guys, there is so much information in here and lots of great talk, lots of great conversations. So make sure you all join in this Discord. Yeah, anywho, I believe those are the big ones. I've highlighted the big ones that I wanted to talk about and I just wanted to make you all aware. And I want you to know that no matter what happens with Bitcoin, we are going to be okay. Everything is going to be just fine. So guys, in the grand scheme of things, um, <clears throat> hold your positions if you're holding. Trade if you want to trade. That's not the way I'm doing it anymore. So, I mean, do it however you want to do it. Do what works for you. Every person has their own way, their own strategy. So that's just how I'm going to do it. Let me kind of see. That looks like a symmetric triangle to me right there, right? And this is on the four hour chart. And this is with the tweezer candlesticks right here. Huh. So, guys, who knows? We could, um, this, we could bounce off of this right here. And that may have been the bottom right here at, uh, 74, 90 or, Actually, it would be around here, around 7,200, 7,200. So 7,200 may be the bottom, and then we may go up from there. It's a it's a tough call right now in this market. There's a lot of seller volume. Uh, and there's not a whole, whole lot of buyer volume. So it, we have m multiple scenarios, multiple situations. We have the triple bottom that could occur. We have the descending triangle that could occur. And we have this symmetric triangle that I just now pulled up. It looks really nice, actually. It looks like a solid support line. So we will see what happens there. All right, let's go give away some Ethereum. All right, from the previous video, we had a total of 46 unique commenters. So let's see who the winner of today's Ethereum giveaway is going to be. And it is Ian Bang. Ian Bang, I'm I butcher names, man. I'm so sorry. Maybe this is just it. A little bit up and a little crash and a little up again. Well paradise. Yes, it is well paradise for the whales. But in the long run, a little crash and then up again. I believe the up agains are gonna outweigh the crashes. So in the long run, I do believe we will be uh 
just continuing to move up. So thanks, Ian. I will shoot you your Ethereum right now. Guys, again, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with your Ethereum address down below for your chance to win. And also join the Discord to stay up to date. I post on there all the time. You can follow me on LinkedIn and the links up in my YouTube and uh, check me out there. I, I post all my technical analysis on LinkedIn. I post all my technical analysis on TradingView, on Twitter. I mean, it just goes on and on. Like I said, check those sites out. Lots of great uh, news, lots of great information. I'm spreading as much as I can. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Ian, you will be receiving your Ethereum here shortly, probably before this video uploads. So there you go. I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, Cubbyhole Productions and the Crypto Monkey, we are over and out.